how do you actually define which cities you're going to get to? And uh, we mapped 300 prefectures with many different uh, uh, metrics, especially about dis disposable income today and the projection of disposable income five years ahead. And what we're looking for was not for the highest points today, but for the highest addition of wealth. And what we had compared to other countries, when you have your income growing, there is a certain point of inflection where consumption of indulgent categories spike. So we saw that in China for many prefectures, and what they're trying to do is, which are the ones that didn't go through that yet? And that would be a predictive measure for the places that the market would grow fast. As I told you, beer hasn't been growing anymore, and it grew a lot in the early 2000s. Around 2007, 2008, East China was not growing at all. But Western China was on asteroids. A lot of the, the, the investments dictated by the previous five-year plan of the government was about development in the Western and Northwestern regions of China. And with, if you wish, this is strategy in mind, we develop a plan so all these colored provinces are provinces in which we decided to build breweries. So in the last now eight years, we built 12 new breweries in China, and that in itself was close to a $3.5 billion investment. Back to what I mentioned, that we're increasing investment from 150 to 200 million to 1 billion per year. We basically deployed uh, three and a half billion dollars in capacity and another two and a half billion dollars in acquisitions in China to get a footprint that will allow us to service most of China. We're still not present in the far west. We're still not servicing places like Qinghai or, or Ningxia or, or Gansu. But for the entire north and, and, and southeast of China, now you find either Budweiser or Harbin. We went from basically 25% of coverage of China to over 65% between this 2010 to 2017. And that was, if you wish, the financial consequence of that. This is uh, information from our uh, public disclosures. So what you can find in China in our 2009 annual report when the president of Asia was putting together this plan, the combined profitability of InBev and Anheuser Busch was $2.4 billion of sales. That by 2015 increased to 4.2. We stopped disclosing China in 2016. And profitability went from $400 million of profit to $1 billion. And the one figure that is not in the financials, but I can quote in here, that was $400 million of profit, but it's still $100 million negative in cash flow because all the bottles that you need to buy, the, 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 the glass bottles that you need to buy. Now it's a billion dollars of profit with uh, close to $700 million of positive cash flow. From what I've seen of China, I think that this kind of profitability, I think only technology companies and automotive of international companies will be able to generate in China back in the day. But so far, like I'll tell you guys, that for me is probably the most uh, exciting part of my career when uh, back in 2009, when I was still in Canada, I don't recall the situation, but I'll tell a friend, you know what they are asking me now, they're telling me I have to leave Canada, I had been there for six years, it's time for me to get something new, they don't like when people get accommodated somewhere, I can go anywhere, I'll never go to Asia. Well, two years after that, there I was, and I'll tell you, since 2012, having had the chance to work here, to work in India. In my time in here as CFO for Asia, I worked a lot with Korea and Vietnam. I actually changed like, my, my, my profile in the, in the company system. I'm not mobile anymore. Don't get me out of Asia. If you're working with consumption, that, that's what I'll tell you. If you're working with consumer and you're serious about it, there's nothing for you to do in America or in Europe where there is no more growth. When you look at any projection of any category, if you're serious about winning with consumer, you're serious about winning in Asia.